Hey everybody! And welcome back to my All American Review. And this episode was juicy. And if you haven't watched my reviews, I don't go the whole episode. I mean, if you want to follow the whole episode, just I mean, it's just a lot. It's just to go point by point by point. It's boring. So I just talk about the key points that stood out to me, and I thought it was interesting and fun. Let's get to it. Okay. So, da -da -da -da. We finally know the secret, the secret. We've been waiting for the secret. We've been waiting for day one. And I kind of figured it was like an affair going on. Granted, I was still team that is like not the sun. It was going to be like a whole little switch up. But I guess that's not going to happen. I thought that would have been so much drama. That would have been so good if it was. But, you yeah, know, it's not. So... The big secret was that his mother and coach had an affair when they were married, so the daddy was mad and just disappeared. Granted, they had an affair. That was like somebody they trusted, and he didn't get to go with NBA, in the NBA, in the NFL because of that, because he stayed with his family, and then it's like, oh, I, I missed this opportunity to stay with someone who was going to be unfaithful. To be faithful to me, that's just whack. I understand. I get his pain, but to leave for 10 years, that's a bit much. To not talk to your family, not to be there for your sons. They didn't do anything. They didn't have an affair. You know, it was Coach Billy and the mama. Like, be mad at them, but don't be mad at the kids. So, yeah, that was, that was deep. But another big thing that, I mean, that was just like, what? Spencer's going to get himself hurt. I don't know why he's walking around like Tyrone and not going to kill him. And he almost got got to his daddy came and said, and he was still mad. Mm-hmm. That was a big deal, too. Yeah, put that out there. I'm just jumping around. It's coming to my head. It's coming to my head. But anyways, cool. Cool. So, yeah, I don't know. This is, like, really funny to me. Because my mom pointed out when I was watching it. She was like, did you see feel like, like, Coop sat there. And that new guy was, like, basically, like, yeah, you know, you. I don't know why you're riding for Tyrone. Because, you know, um... He basically got the guy killed, and then you was, like, really close friends with the brother, and he was in jail. Like, I know you loyal, loyalty, everything. So, I'm just saying, like, you should be more loyal towards my cause because Tyrone is just running around here getting killed, and I have no loyalty for nobody. And that guy said, enough said. I'm going to handle it. Thanks for doing your work. And then Coop looking scared, like, what does that mean? What do you think it means? You sat there and told this guy. Point, point blank and period you need him gone well clearly if he says he's gonna handle it he's gonna kill him and yes you need to accept the fact that you are the one who set it up this is what you wanted don't look confused she looked confused like she was talking foreign language like what you think he was talking about uh -huh. and me and spencer just going on a rant because your dad's here doesn't mean that like it's like you forgot where you came from with coop like um his girlfriend's House just got freaking ramshacked, and the first thing you think about is Tyrone. That doesn't even make sense. What about the people who was there uninvited at a polka party? That's my first thing. That's who I thought it would be because, I mean, those are complete strangers. You go off on a tangent. I'm going to talk to him. What you going to do? I almost got yourself killed. That's what you almost did, you know? And she's living in this house by herself i'd be feeling so bad for her i would be terrified too just to be in that house it's just freaking crazy but you know layla had her friend you know olivia came and they was like so cute it was so cute the whole moment was cute like when she needed because i know they was like terrified and what else was big in this episode oh yeah so billy and the daddy was talking and he was like Okay, so I see that you and my son are like close. Um, you gotta have, you gonna make him talk to me because I can blow up your whole entire world. Basically, how I was gonna with, and Billy's like, I don't, I don't have to make him talk to you. He can do whatever he wants, and you know, um, I'm not gonna tell him this man. I feel like it's good for him. Just like some tension between them, and I, we know why, but still. Mm. But in the end, he was scared because he didn't want his world blowing up. So his own way he told spencer to talk to his daddy he's trying to say it. it's like what's well, gonna help you grow it's gonna help me know you want to take your butt let's just be honest spencer's daddy he has some nerve come up there with a gift like everything about peachy peachy like no no 
you been gone for how long? Exactly. And now you come you're talking about it's peachy peachy. No, it's not peachy peachy. You need to let things go. You know, like, let's just let the breeze. Just let it go naturally. You just can't come in here thinking about things will change. I'm not going to be happy about you. No, dude, no. And let's look at the last thing. The grandpa and Jordan. Their friendship is hilarious. I mean, the grandpa is messy, especially what he did last week. But, like, I feel like it's good for Jordan. It helping them grow. And the daddy is just, it's Billy. He is not for their relationship, their friendship. And then for the fact that in the episode, he's paying him off to be like, hey, I'm going to have to pay you to not talk to my son. Is it that serious? Like, is he really doing anything? Why, why don't you want them to be, like, friends? I just don't understand. Like, it's not that serious. So the fact that you want to pay him off. That's just going to backfire. I know it's going to backfire in a bad way, but I'm here for it. And here's what he gets because he shouldn't be going around paying people off and just being sneaky. He is a just a sneaky person and just calculating the lie and stuff. So I'm interested in finding out how all that's going to turn out. But this episode was so cool. It still leaves me with questions. Let's get to questions time. The question is, hmm, so that we know the daddy, the history. How do you think it's gonna affect the whole dynamic? Like the the, the next episode seems like Spencer's about to, like he just can't he can't tell the house no more. Like he just cannot with the secret. And it's like I get it, but then it's like mm, I feel like everybody's gonna know soon. It's gonna be exploding, and it's gonna. I just wanna know like when was it like when the kids was here? Like is it gonna be another secret that we just didn't know pop up out of nowhere? Like hey, this could be this son. This could be this daughter. I don't know, but like. I just feel like when that explosion pops off, it's just going to be something that's going to be very crazy. And I'm ready to see it because, I don't know, I feel like the dynamic is going to switch. And I feel like if the whole time the secret was the affair with and the grandpa was talking about it, like, why the grandpa knew? I feel like it could be something deeper. I still think there's another secret out there between Billy and the mama because I don't know, I just feel like, yeah, that was like a big deal. But I feel like it's something else, like something deeper than that, too, because, like, yeah, that cheating was bad, but I just feel like the way they was, like, building it up, it had to be something else that is going to come booming, whamming, because the grandpa and the daddy was just on a whole nother level, you know? Or that could have been it. I don't know. I'd be thinking it could be more drama, but it might just be that. But let me know any questions you have about the episode so we can chat about it, too. And thank you. Like and subscribe for all the rest of the content and video.